Hey everybody, welcome to My First Fish Tank. Follow me on Instagram at My First Fish Tank and be sure to subscribe and hit notifications on down below. Gonna be doing coral dips and rehoming some corals, so getting out all the gear. I got several buckets because I'm gonna be using several different things. The first bucket's just gonna be nothing, followed by Coral RX, then a bear dip, and then two buckets of fresh water to make sure all that bear gets off. I have been lazy about doing all of my corals and I'm glad I was because check out that rubble there is just aptasia on there bubble coral all sorts of vermited snails so I'm gonna get all this stuff out of there coral dip it before I rehome it and then sterilize that entire tank so that I can get some new corals first things first set up the workspace whenever you're working with bear you should be wearing gloves and goggles Coral RX really isn't that bad, so I'm just checking it out. Bear, this is my first time using it, and I believe I use about 160 milliliters per gallon. I should be wearing goggles here, but I'm not. I put them on later that you'll see. So yeah, I'm just taking all the pieces out. I'm inspecting them. I am putting them into the Coral RX dip to start out with. That piece of rubble rock is covered with vermited snails and aptasia. There's no way I'm putting that in my display. So I'm just using a sharp knife here to cut that off and I'm gonna reattach it using a rubber band. For about a couple weeks it should work. This is the hammer coral that was being bothered. It's making a full recovery. Just give me a quick inspection to all the corals and then I'm putting them into the Coral RX dip, removing any of the original flags. Three minutes in the Coral RX dip, removing any of the large things that I see scraping off any of the snails. Then we're moving everything over into the Bayer dip. That's a 15 minute dip and I'll just aerate it occasionally with the stainless steel turkey baster. I was told to be really careful and double rinse all of your corals after the bear dip, so that's what I'm doing. Next, we're going to attach a couple things. So first, I gotta find the perfect piece of rubble rock that's flat that I could easily attach the mushroom to. Take it out, inspect it, looks pretty good actually. Found a good home kind of on the side. Just gonna take a large rubber band, put it gently around it, leave it on there for two weeks. I'm hoping it does well in the office tank because all the vermited snails on the last um, piece of rubble rock we're just irritating it. So I'm hoping it will grow and grow and grow. So maybe I'll even have to frag it. All right, so just do a last quick inspection. Just using Gorilla Brand Super Glue. I don't like it as much. It's a little bit too runny, but it ends up working out okay. I'm putting it up pretty high because my lights aren't super strong and it should be okay up that high. Rehoming my only piece of SPS right there. Everything's rehomed. Now it's time to turn my attention over to the quarantine tank. I want to be able to put new corals in there, totally fresh, and know that it's pest free. But I noticed right away there was something in there, and I was just going to move my snails and stuff right over to the other tank. But then I found this guy, and I should have been wearing gloves. I realized that these guys freak me out. I am just not a fan of bristle worms. For links to all the products I use in this video, check the description down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at myfirstfishtank. I post twice a day and hit that subscribe button down below. Happy reefing, everybody.